Lake Placid, New York is a great destination for grand travelers who are middle age or active seniors with little to no mobility issues. The downtown area is small, although it is somewhat hilly. A lot of stores have homemade crafts that tend to interest more of us older folks. There is also a bit of Olympic history. Here are some of the top destinations to enjoy in Lake Placid, New York. The first destination is Mirror Lake. And Mirror Lake is a 128 acre, one mile long lake that is situated behind the downtown buildings in Lake Placid. You can canoe, kayak, and do stand up paddleboard across this lake. The panoramic views of the high peaks are absolutely breathtaking. During the winter, you can also go ice skating. You can have dog sled uh, races and you can go cross country skiing on Mirror Lake. We enjoy Mirror Lake from two different areas in Lake Placid. The first was a beach access area where people could go swim, fish and that sort of thing and I caught a picture of this kayaker. The second area was from an area uh, near the house, uh, which is a hotel restaurant combination there in Lake Placid. It is a, an area called Mids Park, and that is home to the Paul White Memorial Shell. That was an absolutely gorgeous area to sit and to people watch and just soak in the nature of the high peaks around Mirror Lake. The second destination in Lake Placid is the Lake Placid Olympic Ski Jumps. These things are absolutely massive to see in person. One of them is 90 meters and the other one is 120 meters. They were built for the 1980 Olympic uh, Games and they are two miles from Lake Placid off of Military Road. These ski jumps are used for training and competition at least before the pandemic occurred. Now, I was overwhelmed when I saw these. Uh, in person. I just could not believe how big they were. Unfortunately, we stopped at the facility as we were headed out of town from Lake Placid. And so the, the building itself was closing, I think within five to 10 minutes. So all we could do was walk around to the backside to view the jumps. And here we have a picture of them. Now the picture doesn't do it justice on just how massive these things are. There is a gondola system that you can ride um, up to the top of these ski jumps and get you know a bird's eye view, I guess, of, of what they look like or an up close view really of what they look like. Um, but again, because the, the facility was closing, we were unable to ride the gondolas at, the, at that particular time that we visited. So um, be sure that if you go, you check their website and you pay attention to the times, unlike us who just showed up expecting to get to, you know, see it and uh, did not, unfortunately. And on a side note, there is an Olympic Museum that is there as well, but they are, they are closed on Wednesdays and guess what day we were there. <laughs> <laughs> it was on a Wednesday, so we did not get to see that either. So planning is key to, you know, seeing things like that. Our third destination is St. Eustace Episcopal Church. This church was founded in 1894. It has beautiful stained glass windows with at least one of the windows believed to have been designed by Louis Tiffany of the famed Tiffany Lamps. Now, when I saw this church, I had to immediately stop and get a picture. It was the most unique 
architecture I had ever seen. It looked like the church was wearing a hat and there were two eyes. <laughs> it was absolutely fascinating and beautiful. So yeah, here's the picture. Our fourth destination is a destination that we passed. We did not go into it or anything like that, but I had to take a picture of it because of the name. It is Delta Blue, and their slogan is, put some south in your mouth. Well, actually, it's put some south in your mouth. <laughs> and I'm sure y'all can hear the accent in my voice as I am from the south, and so, yeah, I saw Delta Blue, saw the sign, I had to stop and take a picture. And it just made me happy when I saw that sign. So it is a restaurant known for Southern food and live music. And I hope to get to go back one day and critique their Southern food <laughs> and see just how Southern it is. So, um, so yeah, unfortunately when I looked them up, their website says that they are closed. It did not give a reason, so I don't know if it's related to COVID. I don't know if it's a permanent closure, or I don't know if it's just a winter closure. There are some restaurants near us here um, that close for the month of February because it's typically the coldest month here in our area, so they just take like a month winter break, you know, and close their restaurant. So, you know, it could be a combination of any of those things. So yeah, as soon as I saw the Delta Blue, I had to stop. I'm from the Mississippi Delta of Arkansas. And uh, so hopefully their closure is just temporary and that they will be back. And if so, they are located in the lower lobby of Hotel North Woods. Some honorable mentions there in Lake Placid that I don't have pictures of because we didn't go to these places, but they still sound interesting and I hope to one day get to visit them. The first of them is John Brown Farm State Historic Site, which is located actually near the ski jumps that we did visit. It is the home and final resting place of abolitionist John Brown. The second place is the Lake Placid Olympic Museum and within it, it commemorates the 1932 Winter Olympics and the 1980 Winter Olympics that were based in the Olympic Village of Lake Placid. If you are a grand traveler who doesn't have any mobility issues and you enjoy hiking, McKenzie Mountain offers two trails that you can hike to the top and see beautiful vistas. The next destination is Mount Van Puffenberg. Um, it is an Olympic bobsled run that I guess when it's in operation, you can actually take a bobsled ride <laughs> down the run. And um, so it's a venue for bobsleigh, for the luge and skeleton, and it's located at the Lake Placid Olympic Sports Complex. If you happen to go in the winter time, you can take a Lake Placid sleigh ride. These sleigh rides offer an old-fashioned excursion through the open vistas and majestic forests of the Adirondack Mountains. And our last honorable mention is for those who love horseback riding. You are in luck. There is an Adirondack Equine Center that offers horseback riding. Now these places may be affected by closures due to COVID, either temporary or permanent. So if you go, be sure to check them out and then plan accordingly. So because we only spent a day there on our most recent family vacation last summer, we did not get to see a lot of it or experience a lot of what Lake Placid has to offer. And what we did, I would say, would be mainly for those who are middle-aged, as well as senior citizens with little to no mobility issues um, who still are able, you know, to get around. However, if you do have mobility issues, don't let that stop you from going to Lake Placid and taking a drive through the beautiful um, scenery and vistas that that area has to afford. You will not be sorry. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and consider subscribing to our channel for more content like this. 
Now I want to know, have you been to Lake Placid? If so, in the comments below, share with us your suggestions of things that grand travelers can do when they visit. Thank you all so much for watching.